Hello, hello, everybody. Uh, allow me to welcome you to my writing space. This is the place where I normally come and write my novels. I am busy working on my first novel. This video is not going to be professional, but I just want to share some stuff with you guys. So that if you don't make stuff, there will be no stuff. You need to create things. Um, it's early in the morning, guys. I've been waking. I've been just trying to record some content earlier. So, but now, I've been focusing on my first novel. As you can see now, I am working on it. Let me just put it this way so you can see. It's, 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 it's not about the chapters. It's not about the paragraphs. It's about words. When you put words together, you will finally have a chapter. You will finally have a paragraph. And when you put paragraphs together, you will finally have a chapter. Because most people, they don't want to write with their hand. So it's, it's, it's totally cool to write with your hand. Because you see, I've got some exercises books that I am using a lot to write what I'm trying to tell you guys is that having a book idea or having a book in your head it's not a book it's an idea until you sit down and you put it on paper that's when you have a first draft of a book and you don't have to worry much about the spellings. People are struggling a lot when it comes to writing. Because everyone writes according to the way they feel. So don't worry much about the spellings. Don't worry much about the wrong words. Just keep on writing until you have the paragraph that you want. You go back, you look at the paragraph, and you work on it until you will have a chapter. You come back and you work on your chapter. Then later when you're done with your story, because you're writing a story, when you're done with your story, you will come back and put the chapters according to the way you want the chapters to be. So don't feel pressured when you see books like this written. And when you check the pages, you find that uh, there is... 375 pages is bare, ego. And you start stressing yourself about how will I get to that number. Don't worry about 375 pages. Worry about putting together your story. You need to know your story. And you need to record your story. Don't be afraid to record your story. But you need to understand that a recording audio of your book is not going to be the same like writing because there are two different things a spoken word when you speak it on audio it sounds unique it sounds like a finished product but when you pen it down it's different because of when you're writing the characters are starting to develop they are going to different places so it's very important for you guys to write when you see it. There are people who say, I have the story, I already recorded the story, and I just want to write it exactly the way I recorded my story. It, 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 it differs, because for me, I need to see it, although I know the whole story, but I need to see it. If I can see it, it's easy for me to write it in a way that I can paint you a picture that when I tell you about this story that happened, you can see it. And that helps for the film uh, directors if they pick your novel to become a movie later so that they will see the whole picture because you already made it easy for them. You paint the picture because for me, I'm not just writing a novel. I am writing it 
so that tomorrow it can become a book it can become a movie you know what i'm saying so the first thing guys you need to respect the process trust the process don't rush it take your time don't look at a book which is like this and you say i want to write a book as quick as i can and many people they want to jump to the softwares without writing with the hand first and each and every greatest writer they started by using a pen that's how it all started the likes of shakespeare that's where it all started you need to take your time guys and understand that a spoken word is different than a, a written word because when you write it that way it changes automatically you know what i'm saying and we all know that english is not our mother tongue you need to remember that if you can write with your mother tongue fluently yes write with your mother tongue from there after you will translate it to english later it, it it works well but if you can write with english it's okay and make mistakes with english it's okay even the chinese and the japanese also the french are struggling a lot when it comes to english we understand but we are all learning and we are all that's the reason why there is two three four editors who will later go and edit your work it's simply because of they know there will be errors they know there will be mistakes so don't worry much about mistakes because if you worry about mistakes you are not going to finish your book you need to tell your story because all these books i am reading but there is there is still a gap for my story and you can still write your story because somebody wants to hear your story you don't want to be that person who is regretting 20 years later or 30 years later and you're like you know what i should have written my book i should have told my story my way because if you don't tell your story somebody will tell your story so it's better if you tell your story your way so today i just sat down and i decided guys how to write a book is simple you write a book by start putting a weight by weight by weight and i don't know how I, i can explain it you have to write and write and write until you get it right no one sit down and start writing a book and get it right the first time the more you write is the more you learn things and the more you learn you upgrade your skill and you become a great writer so if you want to write a book if you want to write a novel tell your own story because nobody knows you better than you there are so many things which are happening in our lives we just have to tell stories and storytellers will tell stories regardless then that's where it will be a thing of a skill and a gift when you are so gifted that's when you can put together those paragraphs in a way that when a reader reads your book they get the picture they understand because there are people who are just telling stories and there are people who are showing you by telling you a story and that's where i am right now i am writing with my pen but making sure that i want you to see what i'm writing because i struggle so much guys for me to put this cuz this was originally a movie but i couldn't get anybody to help me with the movie so i decided it will be better to write it as a novel and once it's a novel it's easier to go and publish it and i can go to all these different places and start telling them guys have you read my book this is my book and i want you guys to work with me and i want to make a movie because you can keep on talking and telling people about I'm writing a movie I'm writing a movie I'm writing a book but if you don't write it and finish it no one will take you serious write a movie a book have a copy or write your movie but I prefer it to write a book first have a copy and go somewhere with a finished product that's where people sit down with you and they want to negotiate the percentage or the price with you 
But if you keep on telling people that I am writing a book, I am writing a book, you're not going to write a book. And you will be surprised by the, 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 the books that people are writing out there. People are writing books about, about birds. The story about two birds. People are writing about animals. People are writing books that when you read it, you're like, but this book, but it's a book. It's a book. So it's just up to you if you want to write a generational book or you just want to write a book because everybody is writing a book. The book that I'm writing, it was, it was just about me, but I decided, you know what, I want to put together two books. And my book is a story about a mother and a son. It's, it's Storytellers will tell stories regardless, guys. I just decided to share this with you because I'm still in the process. I'm still writing. So I just don't want to give away everything. But the book will be will be one of the books that people will read for many years ago, even after I'm gone to this earth. So it's a generational book. And the first page, I'll just make sure that I write that if you read this book and you don't understand it, please don't throw it away because your grandchildren will get it better. They will understand the book better. Guys, I appreciate your support. Like the video is going to be raw. I'm just talking. I never had any script whereby I want to talk about this and talk about that. No, I don't have the PowerPoints. And I just wanted to make this video, guys, to share with you. As you can see, it's raw. It's early in the morning. See, it's, it's, it's 4.39. There, there is no magic behind this when it comes to writing. You just write how you feel. And sometimes if you want things to be done, you have to sacrifice some of the things. Much love and respect, guys.